Today is the seventh Sunday after Pentecost, and the epistles taken from St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, I speak a human thing, because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as you have yielded your members to serve uncleanness and iniquity, unto iniquity, so now yield your members to serve justice unto sanctification. For when you were the servants of sin, you were free men to justice. What fruit therefore had you in those things of which you are now ashamed? For the end of them is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, you have your fruit unto sanctification and the end life everlasting. For the wages of sin is death, but the grace of God life everlasting in Christ Jesus our Lord. So now yield your members to serve justice unto sanctification. We have been called out of the world, its injustice and unholiness, unto justice and sanctification. Therefore, let us shake the dust of the world from our feet, and move forward unto sanctification. Please stand for the Gospel. And the Gospel is taken from St. Matthew. Beware of false prophets, who come to you in the clothing of sheep, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. By their fruits you shall know them. Do men gather grapes of thorns, or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, and the evil tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can an evil tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit shall be cut down, and shall be cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. Not every one that saith to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doth the will of my Father who is in heaven, he shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Please be seated. Not every one that saith to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doth the will of my Father who is in heaven, he shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. I can come here and beat my breast and say mea culpa, but if I leave here and return to my sins, I shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. No, I must do God's will in all things, large and small. And the moment I see God's will and I pull back ever so slightly, I begin on to the road of eternal misery. And I cannot cover my reluctance to do God's will by crying out, Lord, Lord. No, I must repent of my reluctance and do God's will, crying out to our Lord, Lord, be merciful to me, the sinner. Beware of false prophets who come to you in the clothing of sheep, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Today we are surrounded by false prophets who clothe sin in the garb of righteousness. These wolves attempt to sugarcoat sin as if it were nothing. They excuse sin as a mere weakness. They even say that what was once considered a sin is not really a sin after all. Have we thought of the evil of sin? For the wages of sin is death. A sin committed is an evil. A sin excused is a double evil. And a sin denied is a triple evil. Let us consider, the only true evil in the world is sin. So, to sin is evil. To sin mortally is evil. To sin venially is evil. Do we stop and think that deliberate venial sin is the second worst evil in the world after mortal sin? A sin excused is a double sin. We have the sin itself and then the rationalization we use to excuse it. Let us remember, there is no excuse for sin. A sin denied is a triple sin. God's law determines what is a sin and what is not a sin. Not what I think or feel. So a sin denied is still a sin. To this I add the evil of the denial and also the obstinacy in continuing to sin. For if I have dismissed something as not sinful, I do so that I might continue in this evil way of life until eternal misery is my lot. And let us consider, 
that the denial of a sin can be worse than the sin itself. Take the damnable sin of abortion, which is so evil that the church has added an excommunication to this crime. What is still worse is to proclaim that it is a woman's right to have an abortion. This proclamation is a denial that abortion is a sin, for no one has a right to sin. In fact, this declaration is an act of heresy, which is worse than the sin of abortion itself. See how evil denying a sin can be? In this day of laxity and lukewarmness, many do not consider the evil of many of their actions. We cannot continue to be like the rest of the world. No, we must step out. Let us honestly examine our conscience in this regard and admit our sins. Let us remember that no sin is forgiven that is not hated and detested.